Hey guys, my name is Abhinay, you are watching Technique Craze and today in this video I am going to teach you how to make your own bomb squad server running 24 by 7 and that too a dedicated one. So without wasting much of the time, let's get started. So guys, the first thing you will need is a Gmail account and if you don't have one, you can make a new Gmail account. I'm doing it with Internet Explorer because if you'll use a new browser with which you have never created a Gmail account, it won't ask you for your mobile number verification or your email verification. And that way you can create multiple servers and multiple email accounts because once you'll use your email address for DigitalOcean, the website that is going to host our server, then you cannot use it again, only one email for one DigitalOcean account. So I'm going to tell you how you can create multiple emails without having to register every time with your mobile verification number. And also make sure that you use a new IP and a very clean and new browser. You can use a new IP, use a new VPN and all those things and Google will think that you are making your account for the first time. So let's try Google. New account. Oops. Um, yeah, yeah. So here, I can, I can just write anything like Google.com. 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 Google.com.
and come to billing this is this is this is the base this is very very important thing you need to do and come to promo code and you can type two promo codes one is droplet 10 which gives you ten dollars and a new promo code that I got now is low end box it gives you fifteen dollars and you can apply the code to get fifteen dollars credit so now just and first create droplet by coming to droplets and creating a droplet and here you can choose any of these things like 7.17.10 .10 or 16.0.4.4 please don't use anything less than that because I haven't tested it before that so these two so I'll be using the latest one you have $15 in your credit and says $20 per month it will make your server run for 20 days at least 20 days because I don't know why DigitalOcean do that but they never stop the server even after you are running in minus credit credit goes negative it they will never stop it and it will run until its height of debt and then they will try to debit it from your credit card information but as they will realize that it's invalid then they will disable your server so at least two months is the least that you will get so after that you can choose the location I am an Indian so I'll choose the Bangalore and now there comes the third requirement that you need is of a software called putty whose link I'll be putting down in the description which you need to download it so you need to come to new SSH key and where you will need to be typing your SSH key content and now the question arises how do we get an SSH key so first do it putty gen when you will install putty you will get two things putty I, I'm not sure if it's called putty or something it's um, you will get two softwares putty gen and putty both are very important currently we need putty gen putty's need will be later so this is putty gen click on generate and move your mouse in the blank area to generate some randomness this will create a very random text and numbers that will be your password this is your password like for the server so that no one can crack it there is no chance of cracking because if someone even applies a brute force it's gonna take thousands of years to crack it so copy this from here and right click and paste or control V of course and just after that just click on save private key yes and save it somewhere you want and I'll be saving it as mm, TC um, that stands for technique craze like you know I want to promote my channel's name Woohoo! okay so TC click on save and it's saved now you can close it and here type the name TC and click on add SSH key and you see it's it gives a tick mark and the SSH key has been added choose a host name keep it anything you want I'm doing it TC or earlier it was this random number ra not random a sequential number so review it again and click on create once that is done it will start creating droplet droplet is the SFTP thing that will run your server so once that is done you need to open the fourth requirement that is of Windows SCP Windows Server Closed Protocol I, I don't know WinSCP the link of which I'll put in the description for sure and now just open it up and we will be going to new site type the username as root go to advanced and click on authentication under the SSH and in the private key file menu click on these three dots that are coming up and in the desktop we have made our TC we have saved our TC thing so just select it and click on OK by then your IP address would be ready click on copy and paste it in the host name click on save name it anything like TC and OK and it's saved now click on login click on yes okay so guys now you can see this thing that means that you are accessing your secured FTP server where you can keep your files and run terminal now comes the command that I have made to download the bash files or the script shell script commands that I have made so to do that you need to come to putty you can do it by clicking this icon or press ctrl plus P click yes 
and now you need to enter a command go to the description below and you can see it a uh, command and uh, thanks for watching and this thing so just copy this command that I have given there would be a gap between them so just don't copy these and just copy the command even if it's multi-lined because of less space so just copy it the whole command first right click here right clicking will paste the command and the command should look like this somewhat or maybe like this so just press enter and you just need to wait now everything will be automatic uh, let it be done uh, I, have, I have made four dash files when I set up that is going to set everything you need uh, the second is start that is going to start or restart your server every time you want the next is stop to stop your server and the fourth one is new that is going to make new folders on new servers every time so currently we are going to just download first thing is all those bash files and the pong squad folder the pong squad server folder which is being downloaded so currently it's just installing the packages like python uh, libpython.2.7 and libpython2.0 slash 0 something like that and these are required for just these are really required to run the server so it, it, uh, it's doing that and once it's done with it it will ask you wait, let, let it come back and tell you yeah now you can see please write the name you want to keep of the folder and here you can write anything you want just use alphabets and numbers a very important note is that don't keep the name a l l that is all because that is going to be used by the bash files separately and if you use that that's gonna create some errors in future um, that i don't want to explain just please don't use a l l okay so here you need to keep the name i'm going to keep it one of the folder of bomb squad you want um, this, is, this, is, uh, this can be used when you are creating multiple servers um, then i'm going to tell you how and um, then it will come handy to keep your name keep your folder name as one two three four okay so it's not already all the bash files and um, once it's done let it do that okay so you'll set, see this all set boy thanks for using a business script do check out his blog as well once you see this uh, it means everything's fine and um, come to root Come to win cp click on refresh which you can do with ctrl r which i just came to know about and you will see one two three four five six new files four of them are the bash files one is the tar.gz the compressed file of server and the one is the folder so go to bomb squad server and here you can just change the things like i want it to be abhinay teams one and this is parties public Keep it false if you want it to be private server and um, this is the maximum party size keep it seven like if you want your server to have to allow six players then keep it seven if you want to allow 100 players keep it 101 but just read it and you will understand why then I change it to teams if you want the server to be a team server and all those things rest is self-explanatory because everyone every command has comment that describes and explains why so once you do that just close it make sure completed has arrived without any error if you see an error then save it again by just doing any change simple change and saving it again okay so but just make sure it's it gets completed without any error now come back to this now I will introduce my four batch files one is set up that it has been used here the rest three are start the one is start just type start and press enter and it will ask you the name of the folder you want to run or restart type one because that's the name of the folder and it will just see that server one was started successfully and all set the, if you see this that means everything's fine like you can see that there is an error this error will come only for the first time and won't be coming again and again because it's like a warning and you can test that your server is running by clicking on connect and I can see that this server is running I it's just started so no one is playing I'll be leaving it now okay the start command can be used to restart the server quickly by typing start again and typing one and it will quickly restart the server like you can see it's restarted the next command is stop command which is used to stop just type the name of the server you want to stop or if you want to stop all the servers that you are running which you will understand how you can run all the servers soon just type a l l and that's why i was not asking you to keep your folders name as a l l or all so press enter and it will close all servers you can see they have all freezed and soon it will close that because the server is closed 
So again, I can start the server start and then one. All right. So the next thing is new that is going to press enter and that is going to ask you for a new name of the server. Please don't keep it an existing one because I don't know what kind of error it will show what will happen. I haven't tested it yet. If you keep it one, then it will create another folder with one and I think it will merge it and it, everything will be flop. So just keep it like two and press enter. So it will create another folder with the name two and you can quickly do the changes in it and make another server for yours. So it's done. Just refresh it and another server, another thing. In a Come to bomb squad server and make sure that after doing this you change the port number that is really 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 important and without that nothing will work please just focus every time you are creating new thing you need to change the port number and then save it and then come here and click on start and two then it will start your server and server was started successfully you can see this is port 43210 that is running fine and this is port 43211 that is also running fine and if you if I want to close server number 2 then I will do stop and click on 2 and that will close this server only and if I want to close all then I will go to stop and all so all the servers have been closed so this was it guys and like okay first let me start all my servers back start one and start two so all have started if you ever see errors like can't find session two just ignore them now i'll close it you can close it you can close this you can close this you can close this and i can close this and so i wanted to make i wanted to show you guys that you can close everything and then also the server will keep on running and yeah one more important thing is that if you ever want to add mods go to your folder go to bomb squad config and go to mods here you will paste all your mod scripts by just like dragging it dragging selecting and dragging here and it will copy everything I just don't because these are not the mods this will give error so I'm just removing it this is one thing okay so this was it the servers are running and I'll be showing more customization to the servers in next video if you guys like this video then hit the like button and if you just want to subscribe to us so that you know when the latest videos are coming then subscribe to us thank you guys for watching do share and subscribe